Hey, how's everybody doing? This is Matt, and uh, kind of a special edition of a Beers and Beards with Matt. I won't be drinking a beer tonight, but I will be showcasing beers because this right here in this box, if you're going to tell this is a box, uh, is my first, very first beer mail that I've ever gotten from a viewer, uh, and I, I would like to call him, he's not a dear friend, he's a beer friend. So, I know you people like puns. So this is my uh, first beer uh, mail. It's from a guy named uh, Steven Dickerman. He's a, he watches the, the beer reviews on a regular basis. Probably one of my more regular viewers. Uh, he doesn't do videos, but he's a good kid. You know, he lives out in Houston. or He lives in Texas. I think it's Dallas, possibly. And um, we were trying to work out this trade for like quite a while. And this was, you know, the, the trade that we worked on, and we finally got it done. So I sent him some, uh, some Florida beers and some stuff he probably can't get um, out in the big, I guess the southwest, you can call it. And uh, he sent me some stuff I can't get out here in Florida, which is quite a lot of stuff. So it's um, kind of exciting. You know, it's I'm happy that I'm uh, getting the good stuff, and we're going to see what happens. Oh, cool. He even sent me a little uh, a card here. It says Matt. So... Let's see uh, what we got here. I, I feel kind of bad because my package, I guess I, I kind of put the beers in there and I didn't really put anything special, a card or anything like that in there. So, you know, we're going to see what we got here. Oh, basically it's a, uh, it's a breakdown. Oh, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Included are the four beers for our trade. Two pint glasses, one from each of the Texas breweries I sent you beer from and one extra beer. As an engagement congratulations present. Thanks, Steve. I appreciate that, man. So uh, you'll, you'll know which it is. It's meant for aging. So that will be for the for the, for the way. On the back of this are the specs for the beers I sent you. I feel kind of bad because I didn't really put specs uh, for for Steven or anything like that. I apologize, but you know it should be it should be good. So what do we got here? Package is really good. And this is what we got here. Well, we did pack it, and I will probably be using this this package again because this is actually like a really really good package that he did here. So uh, I know mine wasn't as good. And cool, I got some newspaper too. So first one we got here. This is a uh, from Jester King. This is actually a Jester King and a McKellar uh, collaboration. Uh, I've never had anything from Jester King. Uh, this it's from Austin, Texas. And uh, it's called Drinkin' the Sun Belt. And it's got like a guy here, it looks kind of like a, a minute, not a minotaur, like a centaur, devil kind of guy. So, looks pretty good. This is a low alcohol beer. I believe this is the, what we got here? It's a hoppy wheat ale. So, bottle conditioned, uh, you know, do not age. This is something to drink right away. So, only 4.5%, but that's awesome. Very cool. So, off to a good start here. Now this is uh let's see, Rar and Sons, Rar and Sons, Snowmageddon. So this is an ale. Uh, let's see what. Let's see if Steve has something on here. Yeah, Rar and Sons. So again, it's an imperial stout. I can age it. Use a snifter. This is from Fort Worth, Texas. So very cool. And let's see what we got here. This is another one from Jester King. This is actually really badass. It's called black metal <laughs> and it's got kind of like Gene Simmons on the uh, on the front now this is an imperial stout I believe this one is meant to age or we can't age it yeah bottle condition use a snifter can be aged further drink with or without the yeast so it's, got, it's funny it's like a yeasty uh, yeasty imperial stout alright and this one uh, let's see this is cool it's something from Boulevard, which I can't get Boulevard down here in Kansas City, Missouri. This is their Saison Brett 2011. So, hey, whenever I can drink, whenever I can enjoy a uh, uh, Saison, I'm always down for that. So, that's exciting. we got one more beer here. Two Saison Bretts. So, this is one that I can actually have. And one I can actually age, so very very cool. Two saison breads, and he said he was going to send me two of those. So very badass. And of course, two glasses. Gotta, congr gotta congratulate uh, 
speed on attacking because he actually did a badass job on it. Look, I got a cool glass from Rar and Sons, one of the breweries that he visited. See, and here's the cool thing about Texas. You go to Texas and there's breweries everywhere. Down here in Florida, you ain't got that. You don't have that one bit, which, which kind of sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. And if I can get this out, potentially, hopefully it'll work. Alright, and this is from Jester King. So, very cool. Two awesome pint glasses. Looking forward to enjoying the beer, of course, too. And, uh, Steve, thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully you equally enjoy the beers that I'm sending your way. Um, hopefully they're good enough. I hope I hope they are. Um, I'll have to do a better job of it next time because I didn't include everything I wanted in there, mainly due to money money reasons. But uh, we'll work out another trade. But this is awesome. Steven Dickerman, you're a good man. I really appreciate uh, sending me all the beers and I really appreciate sending me the one beer I can age for for the wedding that will eventually be between Nicole and I. So, uh, very cool. Other than that, that's the unboxing. Hope you guys enjoyed me opening up this gift like it was uh, Christmas. So, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time for a beer review. Take it easy. Have a good night.